All right, everybody, be gentle, be gentle. It's just me right now. I'm going to bring my boys on. But first of all, we wanted to say thank you guys for subbing. Thank you guys for watching. We appreciate it. We love y'all. It was a journey. We're still on this journey to get to 1,000. So help us out. Go ahead and hit that the subscribe button and the thumbs up and all that stuff. My man, Tracy, is going to come on after. He's going to tell you how to do it. Well, right now, we're going to talk about one thing and one thing in particular. Normally, we come on here, we, we're real happy and you know, gregarious, and we're talking and we're laughing and having fun. But right now, let's be a little serious about one thing. One thing only. PTSD is real. PTSD is real, and I want you guys to be careful out there about how you function in life. I have PTSD. Trey has PTSD. Big Al has PTSD. And it's pretty much your fault. Yeah, that's right. I'm talking to the fans. I'm talking to the people who watch this show. It's your fault. Huh? All week long, I've been watching YouTube podcasts. Everybody's talking about different things about the Washington Commanders. They're getting all excited about one thing and they're worried about another thing because you think you have PTSD. You don't have it. You just have a, a history of, of bad football teams. We got PTSD. We've seen all three Super Bowls. And the two times we went to Super Bowl and didn't win. We've seen them all. And we had to struggle through this mess we got going on. Until now. Until now. But I keep hearing people talk about our football team. The fans talking about our football team. Being so afraid. Being so scared of success. Being scared of, of, of new adventures and new people coming into the team. And, and being uh, 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 putting a, a new energy into the team. Everybody wants to talk about one thing and one thing only. How old is Bobby Wagner? Pow. Oh! And can he get it done? Everybody wants to come in and say he's old, he's slow, he's lost a step, blah, blah, blah. You wait till I bring my man Tracy on because that's his wheelhouse. That's his wheelhouse, the old dude. He's going to come on and tell you about that. But I want y'all to remember one thing, though. You don't have PTSD, so stop it. We're getting to a new season now. New coaches, new owners, new everything. Get on the ship. Float with us. Ride with us. Like my man, uh, uh, what was his name uh, for the Pittsburgh Steelers? Let's ride. Let's ride. <laughs> let's ride. Come on, guys. Let's. Say it together, Let, let's ride. Broncos country, let's ride. Broncos country, let's ride. Broncos country, let's ride. Broncos country, let's ride. Let's ride. <laughs> 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 Bama, that's why we didn't pick him up. He's old, he's slow, and he's stupid. We didn't want him. We got Bobby Wagner in the house. And I'm going to let my man Trey Z talk about that. And Big Al got something to say about it, too. So you better just watch out because, you know, Switzerland ain't playing Switzerland today. He got the red cup out. He ready to go. Anyway, we're going to get right into the show, and I'm going to bring my boys on because they my boys. We started the show at 8.30, and it's now 9.30. I'm just getting to the intro. That's just how it goes. 8.30 comes 9.30, 9 o'clock, 10.30. We're going to get off until 1 o'clock in the morning. But we're here to talk football, and we're here to discuss that with our friends, and our friends are you. Hit that subscribe button. Before I bring my man Tracy on, you know I can't bring him on without his song. Sit on the porch, dropping bombs like a key on the shoe. That's 
right, that's my dude right there. Big Trey Z, what's happening, homie? Don't get into the Bobby Wagner stuff yet, man. Don't get into it. Just introduce yourself. Tell them what's going on. After we go into our video, then we're going to start the show. Talk about it. Don't talk about what I need to talk about, but just talk about it. Talk about know. you, baby. You. You the man. Trey Z. Trey Z. Talk about Trey Z. Why would I want to do that? Why would I talk about the baddest old school dude who has P? P what, what is it? PTSD. <laughs> but it's a serious topic. It's a serious topic, y'all. We here right now, man. We can't get this thing started to Big Al get on, though. That's we right. Gonna, we gonna really start for Big Al get on? Nah, baby. We brought to bring Big Al on because I know he's ready. I can see him down there in the box. Put the cup down. I'm about to bring you on, fella. Put that cup oh, down. Drink. You about to Let's get go. on it? Let's go. You no, know, I can't bring him on without his new song, Mr. Red Tail. It's like a hurricane in the earth. Race cars, lasers, airplanes, it's the blood. Might solve a mystery or rewrite history. That song crack, crack. Ooh. Ooh. Tales. Ooh. 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 Every day they're out there making ducktails. Tales of daring do bad and good luck tales. That's right, Mister. Tales, baby. Black yeah. tails. Black tails. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of tail? That's right. <laughs> Black tails, baby. Talk about it, big <laughs> Al. <laughs> hey, man. I am ready for a new year, new era, new time. You know what I'm saying? We're not thinking about the 80s, the early 90s. We're not thinking about the, the bullshit time of the 2000s. You know what I'm saying? Oh, my. <laughs> That red we're cup. About, that red we're cup. talking about ducktails, baby. These times, you know what I'm saying? Hey Trey, what we always say when we about to start this show? What we always say? I'm gonna tell you. Let's, Let's get, get it. it. You don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't know who you messing with. Uh, uh, you don't know who you messing with. Uh, uh, you don't know. You don't. I run you up and down the Serengeti. Heads ain't ready. I chew you up and spit you out like chicken confetti. My rhymes are heavy like elephants, stomping your regiments, dismembering all your limbs, ripping your ligaments. I break you down to an atom, change your chemical structure, roots and culture. You don't want to fuck with this brother. I'm like a time bomb, but with fresh can of wish. Apple stylus, plexiglass, got you face down in the grass, ready to blast. Sticky for your jewels and your cash. Call me Robin Hood. Take the loot back to the hood. I wish you would try to retaliate. I wait like a sniper. Beat you like Street Fighter. I heat you up like a lighter. Don't need no ghost writer. Original skill. Killing that wheel. Terminate uh, career like the pill. This is real. Not no fiction. Came up for my jurisdiction. I'm liver than you. Whether freestyle or written. Hitting hard like a hammer. Like a natural disaster. Like a hurricane. Plain and simple. Bringing the pain. Won the battle. What, 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 what? I'm ready to do this beat your ass like Lennox Lewis play you out like Barker Hey, Lewis. hey, hey, we're back. We're back. We're back again. We're back this time. Happy to be back. Happy with all our new subscribers. Happy with our historic subscribers and our founding subscribers. Shout out to all of them. And so now let's talk a little bit about what Deacon was talking about. And I understand that we kind of represent the understanding of experience. Experience. I think that people weigh youth over experience sometimes. And I think people underestimate an individual's ability to maintain his or her uh, athletic ability by eating right, taking their job seriously. There are individuals that play sports and there are individuals that come in and they use their sport acumen like a craft they, they take it seriously and i think bobby wagner is one of those individuals he's like a kobe what? Bryant. he's cerebral on the court he's 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 paying attention as soon as the game is over he's going out and shooting up if he loses that's bobby wagner i think bobby wagner is coming in with something and he's been able to maintain and do what he has to do so stop looking at 
uh, individuals who coming in who might be young with potential, you know, and and like a Parsons. Now that was that was unique. Was but cute. Bobby Wagner knows how to cheat. He knows now how to uh, adjust to what's going to happen and help those individuals who may be a little bit more athletic help them. Um, Biki, you got the stats on my man Wagner? Absolutely. A lot of people think he's joking. Let's look at the stats. I don't see. Now, what is a linebacker, Big Al? What, what is a linebacker's overall position? I mean, his overall is to direct the defense for Bobby Wagner's position and also make plays, man. And number one thing is to stop the run. And the number two thing, you know, guide the secondary into being the right coverage and um, into and to aid and prevent first downs, cause turnovers, um, and to lead the defense, put everybody in the right position. And um, that's something that we haven't had in the past because we went on the youth movement. And this year, our um, offensive coach, our defensive coaches decided to bring back a, a man that has a little seasoning, but he's still making plays. And he's super intelligent. And, and this shows the stats, show it to you right there. Last year, look, one, oh. 83, 83 tackles combined. The most he's ever done. Yeah. And with that being said, 3.5 sacks. That's a bonus. That's this a bonus. guy is a player, consistent player. He's the cog in the machine that you want to have. This is something that we have to allow the guy to play. And like Big Al says, he's calling the shots. He's going to be the mic. He's going to be the guy who's going to be able to see what is happening so that he can also, once again, 87 assists. Even in that category, I believe that's his highest he's ever had there. He's always around the ball. He's always there. We haven't had that. Our linebacker core, man, might as well be, you know, uh, a marshmallow. <laughs> it was soft. Dudes was getting lost. Al used to say they didn't even know what was going on, just running around in circles. Individuals arm tackling, not trying to put the wood to them. I think this is going to be a different time in Washington. And it's going to be because of this guy. Now, do I see him playing every down? No. Do I see him even playing every game? I hope. But, you know, I think what he's going to do is bring the tutelage that our team needs, man. You don't watch a Kung Fu flick and, and the guy, the young man, he has all the ability. He goes and he doesn't go talk to another young man to get better. Does he, Deacon? Absolutely not. Sorry, I was on mute. Absolutely no, not. He goes and talks to who, Big Al? He's sensei. 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 Sifu. Whoever yes. you want to say. Who's a older, seasoned, experienced individual in the fight game who can show him some stuff. And in the beginning, the young man can't even touch him. Until he does, then he's ready. And that is what's going to happen here, folks. Our Sifu is on the field. And he is going to make sure that the guy that does show up and become better than him, that's what we're going to get from Bobby Wagner. And that might be a couple years because, remember, London Fletcher came in at the same age and stayed with us for quite some time. And he was our he's center. London Fletcher was two years older. Yeah. Yeah. So it's not like it hasn't happened before. Let's 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 not. And I'm I'm surprised and shocked that I got these young guys to finally agree with me. I'm talking about the guys on the screen. That sometimes you got to look at experience, man, and stop being afraid of it. Experience is not always old and dragging and all of that. No, this is well, this is going to be something different. Interesting fact about Bobby Wagner. I, I heard this today that Bobby Wagner took some time. He is a studier. So Bobby Wagner, when he was in um, in Seattle, he went to the dot com people and studied the executives how they ran their organizations. When he was in Los Angeles, he went to the studios and watched the executives how they ran studios. 
now here in D.C., where I understand it, he's been going up to New York and hanging out with the, um, the commissioner of the NFL and learning how he runs this particular um, um, uh, NFL um, franchise and this the particular NFL um, league. Um, Bobby Wagner is a studier. He's a leader of men. He's mm-hmm. been studying how to lead men and teach men and guide men and direct men. Bobby <laughs> Wagner is, and, and that's what we need on the field to, for our next journey. Our next journey, we have to find somebody that's going to lead men. And these are the type of individuals that we want for our next 10 and 20 years to get us over this hump so we can head towards what we our final goal is the Super Bowl. And this is the type of person we want. And Bobby Wagner has been preparing himself for this, this time and this place all through his career. He is a, anybody take the time to study Bobby Wagner, he is an interesting young brother. Mm-hmm. And 34 is a young brother. That is, yeah. He's a little older, but 34 for us is not that old. <laughs> <laughs> He'll be 34 again. Oh, wow. he, spent, hey, he spent like three weeks with, uh, what was it, Goodell? He spent three weeks with Goodell just mm-hmm. just trailing him and how he runs the league, man. You know what I'm saying? Picking his brain. That, hey, man, that, that means something. That's right. And that's how it goes, man. Listen, you can't discount a person because of his age. As long as he got that brain power and the will to do, he is on the field. And that's our best linebacker since 1919. So deal with it. Stop getting all these podcasts where y'all talk about will he be able to do it? Who's the next guy up? Who is he going to teach because he's not going to be the last the whole season? Tired of it. Tired of it. So no more. And he's not the only old guy. We got an old tight end. Yep. Oh. Who is the best tight end we got? You know that's that. funny. That is funny that you said that. We got talking about Mr. Earth's age like they talk about Bobby Wagner. Mm-hmm. Interesting. I'm wondering why. Maybe it's a different position, you know. I'm I'm running and catching the ball versus having to put down and lay the wood. I don't know. But either way, that's something else. Yes, and I do believe that he will do his job as well. Because he knows how to get open. He knew how to get open on us. Yeah, that, <laughs> well, hopefully he knows how to get open on everybody else and get some payback. Just get some payback. Hey man, season yeah. brothers brothers mean a lot on the field. Season brothers in your life mean a lot, man. You know what I'm saying? So hey, nothing wrong with have some seasoning out there on that field. Mm-hmm. No, and, and, and even, even the old computer can do something too. There you go. Wow, that's what I'm talking. About. <laughs> <laughs> hey, put the down, yeah. We not back. We, we, we on the clock. We on the clock. <laughs> <laughs> so listen, let's let's like I said, let's make this happen, man. We got a good season starting off with Bobby I'm, Wagner. We are undefeated right now, and we're gonna stay undefeated until we get defeated. But don't forecast a defeat before it even happens. Let's get through training camp first. Stay positive. Let's stay positive. And Come healthy. On. And healthy. Please, let's and stay healthy. healthy. And, healthy. Yes, and our quarterback looked bigger than Baltimore's quarterback. <laughs> no, we've been talking about that. <laughs> Check out the Estes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he looks that is true. Bigger. All right, man. Ten more to go. That's Ten right. more subs to go. We wanted to make this quick for y'all, man, because uh, it's a big weekend coming up, you know, so we ain't going to have time to be messing around. But, hey, listen, let's get those 10 subs up, man. Let's get over 1,000. Let's go ahead and get this thing done. And those of you who already done that, please make sure that you check. Check again. Make sure that you are subscribed and hit that bell so you know when we come on, especially our new folk. Thank y'all. Listen, man, this means a lot to us, man. It all started for us. We used to sit around on the couch and just always jib jabber to almost fist the cuffs. And then we <laughs> pandemic hit and, and we missed that. So Deke came up with the idea, and that's where we are right now. So we want to thank each and every one taking this journey with us, man. And hey, if you would, let's get us over the top. And see what that's about. Either way, we're gonna keep coming back to you with more and more content like this, having a good time. Right here, how do you hear the music? I hear the ducktails. Once that comes, (laughs) 
once that comes in, it's ready to go. Hey, thank you, every last one of you, for being a supporter of this channel. We really do appreciate you. Thank you so much. Mumble Smoss, Mumble. Oh, stop before we go. Before we go, Have, did y'all see the video of the dude with the uh, uh, chicken and fries mumble sauce pizza? No, I ain't see that. I missed that one. I missed that one. You got to show that one, Deacon. I'm gonna try to find it. I think I thought I sent it to y'all. I probably didn't. But I got that. I'm gonna show y'all. We're gonna have it on here. But that way, we appreciate y'all, and we'll be back next week with another video. It's resting. Now, let's funk with Experian Unlimited.